ailing Senator John McCain has tweeted his support for the business-backed campaign to pass a bipartisan amnesty bill through the House via the discharge petition process. The proposed amnesty is being pushed by a coalition of almost 25 GOP legislators and the Democratic Party. If 25 GOP legislators sign the petition by June 18, they can ally with 193 Democrats to schedule a floor vote by June 25. That vote would allow many GOP legislators to back a business-backed amnesty that would tamp down wage growth by providing amnesty and work permits to at least 2 million younger illegals over the next few years plus several million additional chain migration arrivals after 2030. So far, House Speaker Paul Ryan has not used his power to shut down the amnesty push, for example, by announcing he will keep the House out of session on June 25. Ryan, however, has scheduled a June 7 caucus meeting to talk about the amnesty. The discharge petition debate rules would also provide political cover for many GOP legislators by allowing them to vote for an alternative bill with many popular reforms. But legislators and donors know the second bill would get fewer votes than the amnesty bill, and so would be defeated under the special rules of the amnesty discharge debate. The Washington imposed economic policy of economic growth via mass immigration shifts wealth from young people towards older people, it floods the market with foreign labor, spikes profits and Wall Street values by cutting salaries for manual and skilled labor offered by blue collar and white collar employees. It also drives up real estate prices, widens wealth gaps reduces high-tech investment, increases state and local tax burdens, hurts kids' schools and college education, pushes Americans away from high-tech careers, and sidelines at least 5 million marginalized Americans and their families, including many who are now struggling with opiate addictions.